Hello, I hope everyone's doing good today. Um, today I'm going to be doing another unboxing, this time of one pen which I was kind of inspired to buy by Leo from Inquisitive Quill, a YouTube channel. I think he also has an Instagram. He put this pen into one of his top three. In fact, it, it was the first pen he named in his top three. And uh, I think lots of uh, people on the internet, fountain pen network, etc. have this pen as one of the must-have pens in your collection. So I'm gonna unbox it. It's, it's packed uh, really well, as you can see. So getting it out of the bubble wrap. So unassuming cover, cardboard cover. It's a little bit of a damage here. So this was an open box uh, that I bought. So it's not entirely brand new. Uh, it was a on the shelf open box item. So. This is the actual box that it comes with. It kind of reminds me of other Pilot uh, boxes, just a plain uh, hard plastic. I think this is the, the way to open it. And inside, as we probably expect from all these unboxings, you get a use and care guide and this time it's a little bit different it's for type p fountain pens so there's a p probably stands for pump right so it's quite a detailed guide in terms of you know how do you operate uh, the vacuum pump which is good so i'll read this later on and also the warranty card the pen I'll put it aside and it's resting on this uh, the usual uh, velvety uh, bed yes this pilot and the pen itself so it's like I mentioned it it was an open box uh, item that I bought so hopefully the condition is good so it's already been opened from the plastic uh, bag and this is the tag so as you could tell I bought a fine and this is the model number custom 823 14k nib and there you go with the pen so it's a uh, it's a rather beautiful looking pen right so it's not Probably, I'm not sure whether it's noticeable on the on the video, but it looks really glossy and finish looks really well executed. So bear, bearing in mind, this is the 823. The three in the, in the number denotes uh, that the recommended price is about 300 or uh, 30,000 yen, right? So it's, uh, it's up there in terms of the the pens in the pilot line. So just reading the band, it says it has the three stars and it says custom 823 and three stars again. It's filled in with kind of black uh, paint. Pilot made in Japan. Some, uh, I can read a bit of Chinese, so it's saying something like, be careful, right? Uh, And the cap, it, it does have this little piece, not sure whether it's showing up. So this piece down here is probably the ink uh, preservation or you know the, the mechanism, the cap sealing that keeps the ink wet. But it's, it's not very light, but I think it's uh, good enough. And it has a cap, I mean, sorry, a clip, which is extremely tight. 
And looking at the pen itself, this is the mechanism which operates very, very smoothly. So as I understand correctly, if you fully, uh, you know, screw down this cap, um, or this, this, uh, this, this mechanism down here, you actually close off the ink flow for the pen, right? So you can still continue writing with at, in this mode, but uh, eventually you will run out of ink um, from this from this feed area. If you want the ink to flow again, you have to release a bit of the ink like this. And this also acts as a protection when you're flying or you don't want ink to kind of spill everywhere. The moment you lock down this this valve down here, uh, it's totally sealed up. So no fear of uh, ink spillage and things like that. So it's a fine. And uh, looking at the nib, it's rather a spectacular nib. It's 14K gold and it's a size 15 pilot nib. So this is the feet, which is the kind of the grayish feet. And holding it, um, it it fits my hand kind of perfectly. Uh, however, there is quite a lot of weight in this mechanism down here, right? As I can feel the the balance is skewed towards the back. I have other vacuum fill pens which have the same type of characteristics, whereby the pen is very balanced because of all the metal in the inside here. So this was my very quick unboxing of the Pilot 823. I, like I mentioned, one of the top pens that many people say that you have to have in your collection. I'm going to uh, do a thorough, you know, use of the pen and write with it. And then I will actually give my thoughts and impressions in a future video. Thanks for watching and hope you subscribe. Hope you give your comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to attempt to fill up uh, the Pilot 823 with Ina Ho, which I think it's a really fitting shade uh, of ink for this pen, you know, color-wise. So the way to, to fill up the, the pen would be, you know, obviously I have to put it... Uh, upright and I will uncap the pen and I will open up this uh, pump and pull all the way back okay so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to carefully open the cap of uh, ink and then um, basically keeping the pen upright and not inserting the ink to the as deep as I can go. Kind of hard to do this while on camera. Um, and then I will depress the plunger. And some people say that they would hear a whooshing sound when you do this. I didn't hear anything but uh, you know, maybe you will. And just like that, with pretty, just one push, basically, you can see that it's quite a lot of ink. I'm sorry, quite a lot of ink has actually gone in into the pen. So to, assuming if you want to uh, store the pen now, right, what you're supposed to do is keep the pen pointing upwards and then screw back the cap at the bottom all the way, right? So basically you have, um, I need to get some tissue obviously to wipe this off. I'm just gonna grab some tissue. But uh, that's pretty much it if you're intending to just load the pen and store the pen. If I'm ready to write, I just un uncap the pen and again keeping the, the pen upright just unscrew the threads until 
roughly two millimeters of uh, is showing down here and basically that means that the pen is ready to write so now I'm gonna attempt to write something with my new pilot uh, custom 823 so um, this is obviously the pilot custom 823 and the ink is actually pilot Roshi Suku in a hole and this is in the fine so first impressions I'm just trying to write Use the bad handwriting is that the pen is extremely smooth the nib is extremely smooth it's not overly wet I guess I'll have to get used to the this nib this brand new nib it's it's pretty hard uh, in terms of a nib so it's not a flexi nib by any means but it feels nice and smooth and obviously it looks really beautiful you know um, nip wise so I'm gonna keep on using this pen and um, you know I'll get used to it obviously and let it break in and I will give further impressions in a subsequent video so again this is the pilot I'm gonna seal it up this is the Pilot Custom 823 in fine. And thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe. Give, you, give me your comments. And I'll see you back here very soon. Thank you. Bye.